Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to speak to you about compassion. Um, it's something that I've been thinking about over the last week and I just thought there's a really interesting difference between compassion and empathy that people don't always see or understand or get. And it's quite an important definition. And just for living and being with people and understanding with uh, understanding them and connecting with people, it's quite a important difference to understand. And the definition of compassion that I'm going to share with you is maybe not one you'll find in a dictionary, but it was one I was taught when I did my training over a decade ago. And it's one that I use in my coaching every single time I have a client. And to me, it's the backbone of what coaching is. And I'll share it in a minute. But I just want to first, before I go into that, I want to share the difference between what empathy is and what compassion is. Because sometimes I feel that people don't always get that there is a difference. And the two can sometimes get confused and blended together. So just for clarity's sake, and also because in life when we're connecting with people, compassion and empathy are two things that are incredibly important in any relationship. And to have that distinction of what the two different things mean can, can be enhance any relationship that you're in. So empathy to me is when you're, em em when you're empathizing with somebody, you're experiencing what they're experiencing. You're stepping into their experience of a situation and you're physically and viscerally experiencing it with them. Now, compassion, as I was taught it, is very different. Compassion is a deep understanding of what somebody is going through, but whilst also understanding it, you're holding them to a higher standard. So it's understanding what somebody's going through whilst demanding the best of them. And I think that's a massive difference because with empathy, you're stepping into the experience with somebody. You're standing side by side with them and saying, yes, I, I'm, I'm here, I experience, I understand where you are. But compassion, um, although you have a deep understanding of it, it takes a slight step back to say, okay, I really understand what you're going through. And now how do we move forwards? What from here? What do you need to be doing? How can I support you? What can we do to move you forwards to the next step? And to me, compassion, how do I say it? So empathy is about, say if somebody is, if you, if somebody's experience is likened to standing in a, in a mud puddle, <laughs> then empathy is like gliding into that mud puddle with them and sitting there in the mud and saying, yes, I get you, that I can see what you're experiencing. Compassion is about standing on the edge of that mud puddle and seeing that that person is in that mud puddle and offering them a hand to help themselves get out or giving them some tool or giving them something to help them get out of the mud. Um, and that to me is the difference between empathy and compassion. And compassion to me is liberating. It's, it's an active doing thing. It's not just an experiencing being thing. It, it helps people to move beyond where they are to access something else within them. Because sometimes when you're in that mud puddle, all you can see is the mud puddle. <laughs> and what you really need is somebody to stand on the edge and say, come on, you can do this, you can get out. I know you can, I believe in you. And here's how we're going to do this together. And that's what compassion is. It's about helping people to step out of that mud puddle themselves. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's little sharing. And I hope that it helps you when you interact with people. And when you're, when you're with people and they're experiencing a difficult time in their life, that compassion helps those people through it. It doesn't disregard what, they, what they're experiencing. It doesn't make it wrong. And there's deep understanding of what somebody's going through, but also holding that space to demand the best from them in that moment. I really loved sharing this with you. If you want to access anything more, then please have a look at the links in the below, below the episode in the show notes. Um, there'll be links to my website, my social media, and um, on my website, you'll also find any information on the online courses that I offer and the coaching that I do. And if you'd like to connect with me for a chemistry call, um, a free chemistry call to see if coaching with me is something you'd like to do, then I'm always open and feel free to connect with me through any of the social media or on my, on my, through my website. So much love from me to you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.